Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in the season of Discovery. Last episode, we came to Stranglethorn Vale, and we slayed Sindel and started many other mastery quest chains. We finished Tiger Mastery, and we have Panther Mastery and Raptor Mastery left. And it looks like the Blood Moon has we're, we're in the blood moon event right now i guess and during this event when you slay members of the opposite faction you collect blood and you can bring them to altars and then it gives you a currency that you can spend on um i believe gear stuff like that cosmetics mounts they can get a tiger mount from it pretty cool never really participated in it to be honest I think I missed out. Wish I did in phase two. This came out in phase two. Doesn't seem to be too many people being out here at the moment. I assume because the gear is most likely not that great anymore. But who knows? Maybe there are some nice pieces. I think people would do it for the, the cosmetic stuff, though. And it looks like we get blood from slaying mobs, too. That's cool. So not only do you get blood from slaying players, you get blood from, from mobs. And I guess if we die, we drop all of our bloods. Yeah, let's head over here. We'll try to find some Shadow Mob Panthers. These guys are stealth, by the way, so they could be tough to find. And I hope you guys are doing well today. I'm doing pretty good, I must say. No complaints. Heard some news about Blizzard getting back in China again. They were banned from China for quite a while, I think over a year. That was a huge blow to Blizzard, and then shortly after they sold... Oh, Activision Blizzard sold themselves to Microsoft. So maybe Microsoft brought them back. I wonder if this guy's going to let me kill him. See if we get blood. So I just want to see what happens. Nice. Do we get blood? We didn't get anything. That guy got wrecked, though. Oh, man. I hear some stealthies. It has to be Shadow Mob Panthers. So I, I wonder why we didn't get blood there. Maybe this guy didn't have any? We can loot his body. Let's see if we get instant blood after killing this panther. We got blood for that, right? We got four blood there. We got nothing from killing that horde member, though. I'm going to go up here and try to do a turn in. See what we can turn in for. I think you probably need like 10, right? It's kind of... It's not a lot. But yeah, Blizzard's back in China. Um, them and uh, NetEase, which is a Chinese publisher, grouped up and got them back in, I guess. So they're supposedly going to be back in China. Which is great. Great for Chinese gamers. I think it's good for, for China in general, right? More jobs for the Chinese people. I assume, you know, they're going to hire a lot of people. Yeah. If I lived in China, I'd be kind of upset because some of my favorite games are, are Blizzard games like WoW and um, level 40 was 17. Is he going to gank me? Let's just go over here. I want to see the altar first before this guy kills me. Yeah, so NetEase is a Chinese gaming publisher, I think. And um, if you're in China, you have to work. What the heck, dude? These are ZG, uh, gr ZG warriors, bro. I thought that's where the altar was. He's got a roll. Oh, does this guy think he is? We gotta run this way. He's probably gonna chase me. 
Should be good if he did. Okay. I'm gonna kite. Okay, well, I'm just gonna run. I'm just running into stuff like a dummy. I had lay on hands, but I don't want to use it. Good, he took all the mobs. There he is. He's getting chased by a mob. This is a good time for us to use Holy Light. He's another one. Oh, well, he gets chased. And then we can chase him. He's losing a lot of mana. Now he has to run. I'm going to fight this tiger. <laughs> this is hilarious. Playing a little game of tag here with this druid. He wants to get revenge for what I did to him earlier. Don't blame him. It's low on mana, so he probably wants to drink. We'll probably head over there and see what's going on. Damn, another shot of my panther. But yeah, they're a publishing company, and in China, you kind of need like a a Chinese company working with you or something like that, because the Communist Party, I guess, needs to have a little bit of influence in what's going on with the, the foreign company that's in their country. I, I, just, I just think that's how it goes there. And, um, yeah, they're going to be back, so I'm, I'm happy about that, because there's a lot of game I watch quite a bit called StarCraft Rude War. I watch, like, professionals play. Most of the best ones are from South Korea, but there's some pretty damn good ones from... from, uh... Good, good ones from China. I think they're like the second best country at StarCraft Brood War. They probably are. It's behind Korea, South Korea. And it's great to see that they, they're going to be able to play the game again. I don't know how the heck they were playing the game before, but maybe they was just they were in other countries playing it. But now I guess they could play it at home again. And that brings, you know, a lot of good titles back to China, like Hearthstone, World of Warcraft. That's a big one. I remember watching a video when the World of Warcraft servers were going down in China and everybody was just hanging out in Ogremar, just like spamming abilities. It's always sad to see that, man. I hope that I never, that never happens. <laughs> Maybe one day, probably will happen one day. Yeah. They just shut down all the WoW servers when the game becomes becomes dead. I, I hope I'm there for it and I'm just like spamming abilities in Ogremar. Probably be Ogremar because I started out as a word player. And I'll just be like, yeah, rip guys. It's fun while it lasted. And I think Microsoft probably is the reason why it got back into China. So it's good that Microsoft acquired Blizzard. And uh, I heard of uh, the pr former president of uh, Blizzard, Mike Yabara. I thought he was a pretty cool guy. To be honest, he, he was a president of Blizzard that actually played the game. So he actually played where WoW he did Mythic Plus at pretty high keys too. And um, yeah, I always thought he was just great for the game. While he was working at Blizzard, World of Warcraft really, I'd say, took off for me. You know, Classic came out and... I think retail got better, to be honest. Dragonflight, supposedly a pretty good ex expansion. And um, everything they've done with Classic is amazing. Like, this game is so much better than it was in 2019. I mean, 2018. And I guess for the first half of 2019, too, or they released Classic WoW. Maybe retail players have a different opinion, but I think classic players are enjoying it. But my only complaint is, and I've mentioned this a bunch of times, is, is they don't have TBC Arrow or 
And I don't think they're gonna have Wrath of Lich King era servers. And I think that's kind of that kind of sucks, but everything else they've been doing is great. Like hardcore is awesome. Season of Discovery, I've been enjoying. It's been cool, and going through the the trilogy of classic WoW has been like maybe the best four four years of playing WoW that I've ever had. So. Yeah, I think they're doing great with WoW. And, uh, yeah, so what he, was, he said, he wants, he thinks players should have the option to tip those games that uh, they enjoy. And I think that's, uh, it's, it's not, if, if it's a AAA company, I don't know <laughs> about that. But I think for um, smaller publishers, for sure. And I guess even for AAA, if a game's good and you want to like say, hey, that was an amazing game, tipping's fine. But I think for AAA companies, it's a, it might be a little bit uh, predatory, especially if they start uh, adding cosmetics and other stuff behind it. Oh, who knows, right? Like, tip this. <laughs> Imagine that's... Like, if you tip another 30 bucks, you get, like, all this cool stuff. Like, I don't know. I think they already do that with most games, too. At the moment, there's, like, different versions. Like, the epic version, the... The standard version. The legendary version of a game. There's always, like, three different tiers nowadays. I usually get the standard. The only way... I usually end up paying more as if if, if they like ex give us an early release date for paying more and that kind of bugs me because that that sucks me in sometimes and I get baited by that you get like a, a week early to play so that's like the real release date I hate when they do that I think it's uh, that's predatory I wish they would stop doing that but they're not probably going to see a lot of that in the future. I think they're doing that with the new War Within game. Like, if you I think you buy, like, the second highest version. Oh, it's Bekdera. We're actually going to fight this guy today. And he's level 40 elite. I don't think we can kill him right now. I don't even... I'm going to run away. Yeah. I'm going to run away. But yeah, this is Bekdera, guys. Is he going to kill him? Yeah. Okay, whatever, I'll help him. It's nice that this guy's helping me, but I don't have the quest. <laughs> Pretty cool guy. I'll say thank you. Because, like, it's the thought that counts. 2000 XP, too. Wow, what the heck? Much appreciated. Who is that person? What's their name? Spotchy legend. True, that, that's an alliance player. That's one thing I like about the alliance. You know, horde players would just look at you and be like, "Struggle." <laughs> you know what I mean? Good. See, then they mess you. You're a real one. Yeah. Alliance, that's one cool thing about the Alliance. Alliance have, like... They're more team players, I think. But that doesn't speak for every Horde player. I just think, like, that's how most Horde players act. And how most Alliance players act. But probably wrong about that. There's toxic versions in each, each you know, faction. May the Ancestors forever guard your path. <laughs> this guy's an RP or nice. <laughs> I wonder what to say that. Or the light, yeah. Or the light. I, I'm not really good at paladin uh, RP, but that's the best I can come up with. Yeah, I think tipping's like an okay thing, but I don't know. It should be added.
It's great for small pu publishers, though. Which would be good. We need we need more like game like small publishers that are that look that honestly have passion for what they're working on. I think that's what uh, gaming's been. I don't know. I would say lacking. There's been some awesome titles that came out in the last few years, supposedly like Baldur's Gate three. Elden Ring, two games I, I need to eventually play. But, um... Yeah, it'd be, it'd be cool to see more competition, right? Like more, like, small publishers. You know, putting... Putting up a fight against the AAA companies. You know, the underdogs. Tough to find these uh, panthers. If we were a hunter, it'd be a little bit easier. Like there will will be tough though. Level forty elite. I think Tathis is like forty two, so I don't even know if we'll be able to kill them. We'll see. level up a bit. And if we can't, we'll just hold on to the quests and, and do them another time. Some more we can go check out. There's some a couple cool quests up here where you end up uh, fighting the Curzon. Curzon jungle fighters, Curzon forces. They're like another human Rebellion, rebellion group. Sort of like the Defias Brotherhood. over these apes. The jungle thunderers. They do a thunderclap ability and it slows your weapon speed. Attack speed. Annoying to fight. There's Bagthera again. Right over here. Well, I guess the quest he will show us. Event. Like again, where he is. I guess we'll just head down here. Why not? More Shadow Maw Panthers down this way. King Bangalash is down here, too. Yeah, we should be strong enough to fight Big Thera. Big Thera is pretty tough, though. I mean, we have Bubble and all that, and Lay on Hands. Should be okay. We, got, we have. 48 minute cooldown on land hand so because we got into that PvP fight. I just couldn't die. I had to kill him. I had to use play on hands to win. As a druid, I, I like the way you fight, you just gotta be annoying. Just dot him up. Run away. You know, get get back on him again, dot him up, attack him with wraths, starts running at you, run away. And then you just chip him down slowly. Especially against a paladin, you can do that. Gets a little bit harder, though, when they get mounts, because then they mount up and chase you down and then hodge you. It's like a five-second stun, and then you take a lot of damage. But if they don't have a mount, you can, can really annoy a paladin as a druid. Because they should honestly never touch you at all. 
can always get away. And you're kind of like in a little mana war with them. You're trying to uh, get them to heal a lot, use up their mana. It takes a while, though, because they if they have lay on hands, they can lay on hands, and then you have to get, chip them down even low. Like their whole health bar all over again. Bubble's annoying, too. That's one thing about Paladin. You take a long time to kill. And Bang Lash is just up here. Looks like we are done with the Shadow Maw Panthers. And we'll just head over this way. We'll try to find those Raptors. They're going to be tough, though. Level 41 plus. And there he is. Yeah, King Bangalash, level 43. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to kill that guy. <laughs> Maybe we'll try later. Something we'll hold on to. I'll try to fight. The thing that's tough about him is he gets when he gets low, he summons a like a, I think a bunch of panthers or tigers. It's been a while, and um, yeah, you have to deal with those as well. And uh, it's, it's tough, tough to deal with. But I think we can do Bangalash. Tethys, I don't know. Tethys is like 41, 42. Here are the, the jungle stalkers. They're level 40. So I guess Tethys is probably two levels higher. It's been a while since I fought Tethys. The problem with fighting mobs that are higher level than you, you, you end up missing some of your attacks. See, they just got dodged there. When you attack every uh, 3.4 seconds, it really sucks when you miss. Yeah, if you're if you're a fan of RTS, I recommend uh, watching or checking out uh, ASL's StarCraft Rude War. They have some amazing matches. It's hosted in South Korea, but they do have some English English casts. And recently, uh, and they're in the the finals are coming up soon going to be a Zerg versus Zerg, which people are not too fond of, because it's a it's, called, it's a mirror match. There's three races in StarCraft, Terran, Protoss, and Zerg. Zerg uh, was, the, was my favorite race, the race I chose to play as a kid, and I always stuck with Zerg. And people don't enjoy seeing, like, Protoss versus Protoss, Terran versus Terran, Zerg versus Zerg, because the strategies are, uh, it's just pretty much about, like, whoever loses the most units first, I guess you could say. I'm not really explaining it too well, but if, if you get a few good engagements against somebody that's the same race as you, you get quite an edge, and you just end up winning the games, uh, usually come down to that. But uh, Zerg vs. Protoss and Zerg vs. Terran, Terran vs. Protoss, those games are, are awesome to watch. And recently, uh, yeah, Soul Key played Snow. I'd recommend watching that one. It was in the quarter, quarterfinals. Awesome series. And I would say those two players are 
Probably the two best in the world right now. Soul Key won the last ASL and Snow has been pretty damn good. There's this one legendary player that's not playing at the moment named Flash. He's like considered the to be like the Wayne Gretzky or Michael Jordan of StarCraft Brood War. And I think he's in the, the military right now. He plays Terran, so it's going to be epic if he comes back. Because Terran needs a, he need a little bit of help. I think he's won the most AS. He's won the most championships. Flash. He's considered like the bona fide number one Stark Crap Brood War player to ever play the game, I think. I don't think anybody argues that. But over time, that could change, you know, in the next six or seven years, you know, another player could come along and win more than him and take the throne. cool the classic games are still going like games are 20 years old still have a you know a solid community behind them sort of like world of warcraft <laughs> you know what I mean? still going 20 year old game I tend to like the classic games a little bit more than the new ones. It's probably the, like a nostalgia thing. Oh no. This could be tough. I guess we'll go with the jungle stock. We'll stun this. Okay. I don't think we're killing Tethys, guys. See how we do against Big Terra. We're in trouble right now. Still attack. Republic, so that's good. Two more jungle stalkers to go, and then there he is, Tethys. Level 43 elite. Yeah, this guy's red to us. We are barely going to be able to hit that guy. We don't have bubble too, so. If he comes over here and starts attacking us, we're most likely dead. So him and Bangalash are actually the same level. Yeah, we'll go after Bag Thera. See if we can take him down. But uh, we'll save uh, these two for later. King Bangalash and, and Tethys. But we'll continue leveling in Stranglethorn Vale. I've, I've enjoyed it. It's been cool fighting the Horde a little bit. Having these random battles, like 1v1 battles, has been fun. It does suck when you get camped or ganked by two, two to three people, but that happens sometimes. But the 1v1s are, are a lot of fun. I think after turning in all these quests, should be close to level 39. All right, so there we go. Let's head back. Can't really go that way because we'll probably run into the Horde uh, town. It's called Grumgall. It's like a little outpost. Getting beat up. 
chunky heals here. I think we might use our our world buffs for this. I think we have to. Hopefully we don't get ganked by Horde. If we get ganked by Horde, it's fine. <laughs> Probably deserve it. But I have a feeling that might happen. Wouldn't be surprised if that Druid comes out of nowhere while we're fighting Big Thera and he just starts moon firing me and rafting me. That would be some good revenge. There's some people like that out in the world, you know, like they, if you wrong them, they make getting you back their like number one priority in life. Some people like that out there. Like they don't brush it off. So you gotta watch out. You gotta watch out. You mess with us. All I know. It's better to be kind. That's for sure. It's the last thing you need are headaches. I don't know why, like me ganking that druid made me think of that, but I don't know. If he got me back, I would. I wouldn't be upset. I'd just be like, yeah, I deserve it. Good job, man. There we go. It's nice being a paladin. Our run speed is a little bit faster than most. Not druids, that's for sure. And probably not even mages. I think blink is probably better than 8% increased movement speed. Even having sprint every minute or two minutes is pretty good. Is that guy a horde? Probably a horde player. He wouldn't stealth if he wasn't. Ho, ho! We have ourselves a true raptor slayer. Nicely done, fair lady. Because you proved yourself to be such a go-getter in the jungle, let me tell you about a ferocious raptor that even I have failed to kill. Ajek here calls this wily raptor Tethys. If you want to prove yourself a true master, kill Tethys and bring me his talent. Mm -hmm. It would be a feat that no other big game hunter has accomplished. You've done well, adventurer. <laughs> You've almost proven yourself to be a master sure, hunter. Of waste my time. A panther by the name of Bogthera <laughs> has been prowling the jungle. So far, he's eluded. He's a horde. I seen the See sword come up. See if you can use up. your skills to kill the great Bogthera. Bring me the fang of Bogthera and Probably you have a lot higher level respect. than me since we can find, see him. All right, so we want to earn this guy's respect. So we're going to kill Bogthera. Well, hopefully, we will. I think it's better to go this way. And we're going to use uh, the supercharged Chrono Boon Displacer and get Boon of Black Fathom and Spark of Inspiration. Hopefully that will also stack with this Fervor of the Temple Explorer. And that will be a lot of buffs. Hopefully that and Bubble and also Greater Healing Potion will help us here. We also have Raptor Punch. That will give us five Stam. 
Oh, it decreases our stam. No, I don't want that. I actually really want stamina more than intellect. Yeah, that's about it. But hopefully we can get... We'll get over 2,000 XP after this, and then hopefully the quest gives us... Uh, Solid 8k. We'll get level 39. And what we will get is Panther Hunter Leggings, 10 agility, 11 stamina, 96 armor, leather pants. Don't know. If, I don't think they're better than these. Chouse is a Westfall. You know, the armor, it's a lot more, a lot of armor there. Like, yeah, we have less, five less stam. But I think the armor is, is worth it. So probably won't even use those. Let's see the, the chest. We have a pretty good chest piece that we got from Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. The Iron Spine rib, rib cage. I think we will be replacing that soon once we get level 40. Yeah, you know, Carapace of Tutankash, Cash, really nice. Is there anything else we can wear? At level 38, we can wear the Scarlet Leggings. Those would be awesome to put on right now. Level 40, we got the Iceman Metal Bar Boot Blade Helmet. Got that in Razor Fen Downs. Quite a few upgrades once we get to 40. Ah, oh, there's a priest. Maybe we can get him to uh, start spamming uh, wisdom on him. You know, give me. Yeah, just, there you go. <laughs> How generous! You give me uh, fortitude. Nice. Very kind. That's going to really help. It's 200 health right there. Hopefully that's all we need, yes. Okay, it's fine, Beg Thera. Hopefully when we pull him... Last time we seen him, he was there. There he is. Kind of want to fight him solo. All the last thing we want to do is fight him and... Uh, Shadow Maw Panther or Thorn Tiger. He's coming over here. Put a mark on him. I if we can see him. Usually uh, he's stealth. stealth, isn't he? Oh, crap. These guys are elites. Mashog Warriors. No! Okay. It's a close call. Okay. Let's fight. Come here! Probably gonna be really tough. Let's see how this goes. Stunning. Stunning ball. That cooldown going. Health pot. You're doing okay. Halfway. Still a bubble. There. Yeah, we should be good. I can just start critting us. Well, 
really see that. Only a thousand in XP that time. I wonder why we got two thousand last time. Just need another seven K. Wonder how much the quest gives. I tell you, there's an ad on that tells you how much XP. I skip. Slay some mobs on our way back. But I don't think we'll get that much XP. We'll see. But we took him down. That was good. Turn this in. Oh, crap. I'm gonna be dead here. Nice. The Hodge worked. Can we use. We still, yeah, we can use Blessing of Protection. Oh. I'm gonna be in trouble. Leave us alone. Okay. Magic does damage through blessing protection. <laughs> Think about strength or veil, guys. You just die out of nowhere here. This is how it is. Didn't die there, but it's pretty close. I haven't seen too much horde today. Mostly alliance. So there's speaking of horde, there's one right there. <laughs> seen a few. I think three now. What layer are we on? Doesn't really show us. Yeah, I think we'll fight the cur do the Curzon quest for a bit. Do a few of those. Next episode that'll be the plan. Because I don't think we can handle Tethys. Or King Bang last year. Probably you have to be 40 plus to do that. Oh, there's a horde member there. Gossnap. Can't wait till we get a mount. It's going to make questing a lot more... I guess fun. I don't mind running around, but... I'd rather have a mount. Obviously, I think everybody thinks that. Warrior's the worst. Actually, Warrior's not that bad. You can charge mobs. And that kind of speeds things up. You can charge critters as well. Need help? Like, Thera can prove to be an elusive beast. How fair is the hunt? So the great Pug Thera is dead. Cheers to you, adventurer. You are a mighty adventurer indeed. Oh, yeah. There we go. Level 39, yes. And 
too sure what we'll take next. Maybe improve Seal of Crusader? Nah. I want to get enough points. Like, one more point. Maybe we'll just get another point of deflection. Increases your parry chance by 4%. It's not too bad. And then the next talent will be Vengeance. That's going to be really good. Gives you 3% bonus to physical and holy damage you deal for 8 seconds after dealing a critical strike from a weapon, swing, spell, or ability. Yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Next episode, we will be fighting against the Kurs and Fighters. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.